Hi, John. Thank you for meeting with me today. Um, I put together a brief that I wanted to go over with you. As the educator for the emergency department, I need your help in getting this information out to the employees. It's very important. And what it is, it's talking about Texas House Bill 705, which was passed last year by Governor Rick Perry. And what it says is assaults committed against personnel who work in an emergency department is a third degree felony. So let's cover some of the facts. Violence against emergency personnel continues to rise. Regardless of all the safety measures we've put in place, we're still seeing an increase in violence. A majority of the emergency staff have been victims of some sort of physical abuse. They get kicked at, you know, spit on, uh, verbally abused, uh, along with some other things. Right now we're seeing an increased utilization of the emergency department as a primary care source of medical treatment. Our waiting rooms are crowded, the tension rises, you know, people become more angry because they're anxious about being here, which in turn causes dissatisfaction and frustration. Also, we're seeing a rise in the number of mental health patients that we're seeing, and that creates an unsafe environment for our employees, along with patients and family members. Part of that problem is because there's a lack of state funds in which to place these mental health patients. So what can we do about it? Well, first of all, we need to look at support. Our local law enforcement, which includes the city and county officials, We've got the House Bill 705, which helps support, you know, what's going to happen to these people in the event of it charges pressed against them. And we also need hospital administration to support us to ensure that our staff is safe. So how do we do that? We create a safe work environment for our staff and for patients and visitors. Uh, we have a violence uh, protection plan which is uh, the Emergency Nurse Association has a workplace violence toolkit. We make sure that uh, we have security available to us at all times. We have panic buttons that personnel can press and we need to make sure that they know where those are. And we need to ensure appropriate staffing. And that's mainly my job, but we all need to work together to make sure that we have staffed uh, the department appropriately. And I just need your help in doing this. We're ready to do it. Okay, thank you.